Hi, Ribbit. Frogs in Breath of the Wild are special. Not that special, but they do have decent uses. Today, we'll learn exactly what they do, what they're used for, and where to find them. If you don't know me, I'm Nico, and I help basically find everything in Zelda games. If you want more Zelda content like this, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. First, let's talk cooking. You can cook the frogs into elixirs, which means you'd have to cook them with a monster part. Hot-footed frogs give you speed boost, and tireless frogs give you temporary stamina. You can get level 3 speed boost with 4 frogs and each frog cooked gives the dish 1 minute duration. You can also add a dragon horn to make the dish last 30 minutes. If you want to know the best way to farm horns, check the link in the description. For tireless frogs, each one cooked will give Link 4 hearts and 20% of a temporary stamina wheel. So cooking 4 frogs only allows Link to get 80% of one temporary stamina wheel. If you want two full temporary stamina wheels, you'd need to cook five indoor carrots. If you want to know where to find indoor carrots, you can check the card in the corner or the link in the description. And there's a small reason you may need hot-footed frogs, and that's for a small side quest in Zora's Domain. After defeating the Divine Beast, then talk in a Dorfan for the quest to be completed. Talk to Tumbo during the day and he'll ask for five hot-footed frogs. He'll then give you an Armoranth. For farming frogs, you should know that you can farm both frogs in the same place, but tireless frogs usually appear only if it's raining. There are some decent specific places to farm them, but there are actually better places than what's shown in an object map. But first, the decent places in the object map, and I'll explain what else you can farm in those locations. If you go to the horse ferry, you'll find 10 frogs, but you can also get some butterflies. Another good place is in the water east of Solari Hill. There are some frogs and it's a great place to get some fleet lotus seeds. Next, let's take a trip to Varuda. If you drop right to the east of Varuda, you'll find a good spot for some frogs and bright-eyed crabs. Then if you go back to Varuda, go north. There's a little pond with more frogs. Before I show you the place I like to go, there's one place that's interesting. And that of course is Satori Mountain. If you go to the Rutile Lake, while the mountain is glowing, there are 20 frogs and literally a whole bunch of other stuff. Now for the place I like to go, it is the Lanero Wetlands. For whatever reason, the object map doesn't show this location, but the frogs keep coming non-stop. If you want tireless frogs, you can sit until it rains. If you feel like you farmed enough frogs, or you feel like the wetland is running out of frogs, just travel back to the shrine and all the frogs will respawn, and you can farm for more. If you didn't know, frogs are not the only material that twitches when hit. Lizards do it too. If you're curious about what each lizard does and where to find them, you can check out this video. Thanks for watching, hope you liked the video, give it a thumbs up if so, and I'll see you next time.